Hi there guys, my name's Action Dan. Yes, it's a little bit dark in here. Yes, I'm kind of in my pajamas, but I was dying to show you another video editing tip before I go to bed, so let's get straight into it. This one's all about adjusting your brightness, your contrast, and your color in all your videos, and one of your final steps just before you publish it to make it look a lot better and more professionally made. It's a piece of cake. This is a beginner guide. Anyone can do this one. Let's get straight into it right after my intro video. The greatest hero of the okay, hi there guys, let's get straight into it. I will show you quick ways on how to, when you finished your video editing project, to do the best thing to make it look better that's quick and simple is brightness, contrast, and your color saturation. So if I zoom in here on the monitor, I'll show you the first piece I'm gonna work with. Now up here, there is a button. It says split screen view, but it's much more like a before and after. So if I click on it, before, and again, after, you can see there's a lot of variation. Now I'll go to the second example, it's the same thing again. Look at like maybe the white and blue clouds, before and after. You see everything's kind of the same gray, and then I click on after, and the blue in the sky much more comes out from the white in the clouds. And the stuff on the table has much more color, it comes out more, the trees come out more from each other. This one's a good example, number three. Click on before and after, you see beforehand, it looks like there's a bushfire and everything's just all smoggy. Then I click on an after and that green color just really comes out. Uh, me and my wife were somewhere, I don't even remember what this, these towers are called. Uh, they store like rice or something, what are they? What are they called? They're silos for storing grain, Danny. You're an Australian, you've lived here all your life and you don't know what they're for. Yeah, I knew that. Anyway, before and after. So before everything is just white, now the bright white's gone, the clouds really come out. Instead of the clouds and everything just being white, the clouds are now like white, light gray, dark gray, and the sky is light blue, dark blue, and even the road looks better. And the painting on the towers really, really comes out. So now I'm gonna go into it step by step, starting with my first piece, and I'm gonna show you how I did these before and afters. So your random video file you're gonna click on looks like this. You're gonna to go to the top right hand corner and you're gonna click on effects. If you've watched different YouTube videos, you might be confused and saying, hey, you're saying click on this and click on that, but someone says click on that and click on this. Well, of course, there's a dozen different ways to do everything because when they brought this program out, they had an initial idea of how to do something. And then as the years went past, they came up with more settings, more methods, and they couldn't delete the old original methods because that would confuse the original people that purchased the program and they would be frustrated at having to keep relearning how to use the program. So they kept all the old methods and they kept all the new methods. So there's more than a dozen different ways to change your brightness and contrast and your color. These are the ones I'm gonna show you and these are my favorite. You can pick whatever you want. Just remember, if someone shows you how to do something one way and then someone like me shows you how to do something a second way, neither one of them are probably right or wrong. They're just alternatives. Okay, so let's start with the first piece. Now I'm going to click on effects and now I'm going to click on brightness and contrast and go add or I can just hold control and then click on color correct to secondary. Now click on add and they've both popped up the top and now I'll go OK. Now I can jump back into the editing, selecting my options. If you drop your uh, select your options bar by accident, it's OK. You just do the same thing. Just come back here, click on effects and go back into it. Now, one thing I found confusing in my very first days of video editing was I would drag these bars, example, like brightness and contrast around and nothing would happen. It's because you need to click your tick box for the action to take effect. So at the moment, if I drag left and right quickly, you see the without the tick box, the brightness and contrast is not working. It's not doing anything. But if I click on the tick box, now I drag it back and forth. Now you can see instantly when I drag it, there is an effect taking place. So now I'm gonna drag this bar, brightness bar, back and forth very quickly until I get a rough idea of the whereabouts the perfect spot is. Once I can feel the perfect sort of spot, then I'm gonna start moving more gently, very fine detail, and I'm just gonna try and find the perfect spot, and then I'll move on quickly to the next one, which is contrast. Now you're gonna come back and probably do two laps if you wanna be a perfectionist, but be quick at the same time. Don't try and get everything right the first time, just be quick. Do an entire lap, brightness, now contrast, and then contrast center, and then do all the color options, color correct to secondary, tick the box, pick all those options, and then come back and do a second lap. 
So now I'm just gonna put it into fast forward. Okay, so now I'm on my second lap. The reason why you do a second lap is because sometimes initially you will adjust something like the first thing, which is brightness, and it will look perfect. But then when you go with all the other options, like uh, adding a lot of more color, now you might realize uh, that when you increase the brightness the first time and there wasn't much color, it didn't look flooded. But now that you've added extra color and you've added more brightness, now there's too much color. So make sure when you select all your options, you do at least two laps. And always remember, if you're a beginner, you're not gonna do a great job the first time, just be quick and learn from experience rather than spending ages to do every single one thing. Now this one at the top, rotate hue. You don't touch that, you leave that alone. And alpha is uh, just mixing up the colors, leave that one alone. Just use saturation, gamma, gain and offset. And remember, never go minimum or maximum with any of the bars. If you're doing that, you've probably either made a grave mistake when filming that you're trying to compensate for, or you're going excessive with one of these methods. All right, so now we'll have a quick look at the before and after button now that I've finished my second lap. Before, after, before, after. Now, is that not incredibly better than when I started or not? Okay, let's move on to the second example. Uh, click on, again, brightness and contrast, hold control, click on color corrector secondary, click on add, then go okay. And now we're going to click on effects to open up that file, bring them back. And I'm going to do the exact same thing again very quickly, uh, choosing my saturation, my brightness and so on. And I'll just put it in fast forward again so that you don't have to hear me rambling about the same thing over again. Okay, so I bet you're starting to get the idea now. If I click on the before and after, you can see there's quite a dramatic improvement with this one and I'll leave it there. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. This is a very basic tip, but it has huge effects on your final video outcome. Um, makes a big difference. Well, that's it guys. I hope you had fun watching my video. If you did, please consider subscribing or at very least, please click on that like button. See you guys next time. And I'm the greatest hero of the home. Thanks for watching my video again. If you want to look at another one of my random video editing tips, click on the video link on the left. And if you want to look at one of my random outdoor adventures, click on the link on the right. See you guys next time.